What's up everyone, Adele here with Traders Brawl in collaboration with Web3 TV. We are on day one of the World Finance Council. I'm here with Andrew from Hacken, co-founder of Hacken. Co-founder, fantastic. Uh, how are you doing today, Andrew? Very good. Good to have you today. I hope you're enjoying the networking. Everything has been all right? Great event. Fantastic. So tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are and why are you here? Uh, I'm here because I have a vacation, yeah, so I came to Dubai for one month, uh, help Igor with uh, business development uh, here in Dubai, we one year, uh, uh, for one year we have a local representative here, so uh, speak with people, network and, and business dev. Fantastic. So while you're here in Dubai, can I ask why Dubai as, as opposed to other countries? Why is there a specific reason? Yeah, we have strong uh, partners here, uh, also a lot of opportunities here, and it's close to the Europe, it's just eight hours of a flight right. and you're here, so if uh, we need some uh, support of a technical uh, subject matter ex expert, they easily came here, yes, and uh, for us it is a first try of uh, build some uh, local representative uh, in somewhere outside of the Europe, so... Mm. Before we move somewhere else, maybe it will be a state, so maybe it will be Asia, we mm -hmm. decide to try here. Fantastic. I think you're right, because Dubai is, I think, uh, becoming is already a hub, and it's very close to Europe, as you said. Um, and many countries, many people do come here um, for this very reason, the networking. So th this leads me to my next question. For the audience who are new to Hacken, explain what is Hacken exactly. Hackend is a cybersecurity company uh, who make Web3 world uh, secure. So you're focusing on um, uh, audits, uh, things like this, and enhancing the cybersecurity networks of companies in Web3? Uh, correct. Uh, we do... Uh, actually, it is an application security. So I came from different domain. Yes, I did uh, security for uh, enterprise. Uh, and then I, in 2017, when we begin uh, hacking, I understand it is about the same. Yes, but a little bit new stack of technology. So I uh, a little bit adjust my knowledge. Yes, and I was first uh, technical person in a company who start uh, implement and uh, provide this solution uh, in 2017. I so you're the most important person in the company? I don't think so, yes, because company is already seven years. A lot of new people came, yes, a lot of synergy, a lot of bright person with ta talented person. So at the moment, uh, my position is, a, as, as I mentioned, co-founder, yes, and board director, and I do mentoring of uh, uh, technical uh, leaders in a, in a company. Very nice. So um, moving, moving forward, uh, we recently had the news of the Bitcoin ETF approval. Um, what does this mean for Hacken, if, if anything? Uh, so, uh, what I see, yes, it is very positive for us. I don't believe all this money from ETF migrate to some uh, altcoins, yes, uh, but uh, the price of uh, Bitcoin will be more predictable. Uh, there is no any, I don't know, dump uh, without uh, un unpredictable du dumps and uh, yeah it will uh, be good for market sentiment here yeah? so uh, people do not lost uh, their money with uh, altcoins uh, probably it it it, it, it uh, if if situation will be predictable yeah more stable so the mood of the uh, web3 uh, Users will be better. Yeah. And will this mean more business for Hacken as well, or same, same? Uh, it will be more business for Hacken. So Hacken at the moment, yes, great brand awareness. Yes, uh, we uh, always increase quality of our services, increase number of our services here yeah, to cover more gaps in uh, our clients' uh, security infrastructure. So, yes. And you prevent hacks from happening. Was that the main uh, benefit of your, your works, in preventing hacks? Yes, it's one of uh, of them, but also smart contract audits, layer one protocol audit is a marketing instrument. Yeah, so no one will invest in your project without this audit because people have to know the uh, technical requirements for the code is matched with code themselves. Right, right. In fact, uh, hacks are still happening till this day, uh, even even though as companies say they're very robust, hacks are still like almost unpreventable, but you have to be strong and resilient towards them. You have to 
invest in your cybersecurity, take an account, yes, if you change something in the code, it should be audited too, yeah, because this is one of the main reasons why hack happened. So right. people just uh, do a launch of a project, do initial audit, then in three, six months they change code completely, yes, so its uh, functionality increased completely and no one, uh, not, not no one, yes, but many people just uh, do not what to spend money for new audit and uh, then then they uh, have a hack it is a uh, biggest marketing budget right. uh, of, of uh, um yeah yeah fantastic no i think you know what um this is a great conversation to bring to a podcast because there's so much to talk about with hacks and how hacking is helping with that so um we'll end it there but thank you so much for your time i appreciate it much thank you Thank you so much for watching. This is Adele with uh, Traders Brawl and Web3 TV. Hope you enjoyed this interview and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.